Let's take a quick look at custom URLs. I'll start off with uh, enter in my user ID and my password for delicious. I've added this functionality in and it'll allow me to uh, basically look at anybody's uh, delicious links as long as I have their ID and their password. We'll use the tutorials as my tag. We'll view the title and the description for this example. We we'll click get results. <coughs> that went out to delicious and brought these results back. I'm going to associate this query with a keyword my keyword is going to be tutorials. <coughs> I'm going to click the create button that you can't see down here. We're not going to remember the password. Okay, that created it. Now, let's say that we go back into the application and we want to look at what I just did. So, I'm going to look at saved and then uh, tutorials, which I just built. So, this is my custom URL. I don't have a controller named saved. Uh, if you look at the code and the uh, little how-to, it'll show you what I did. So we click here, and then we're able to get right back to where it was. And choose title descriptions. This time we'll add in the dates, or the date. I need to type this back in. And let's do get results. Okay, that added the date in. I still have my tutorials assigned with this click edit. Okay, that created it. Now let's go back to saved tutorials and it's still associated with the date and that's the end of the demo.